You know, I think about uh, about my dad every day. Um, ever since the day he, he passed, I, I have yet to go a day without thinking about my dad. Um, it's amazing how much smarter he's become. You know, um, the things that uh, he's taught me over the years that I, I thought were... Uh, I didn't really see any point to him, but um, it's amazing how it, there there was. And, uh, you know, when I've, when I've had Sam now, and it's amazing how I keep reflecting on all the things he's taught me. And um, I just can't wait to, you know, obviously pass that on. But, you know, that's one of the reasons why, you know, I, I work so hard with the foundation to you know, expand this, and expand what we're doing, because um, he was all about helping others. And um, you know, I, I think about it every day, how can I, how can I become a, a better player, a, a better father, uh, a better husband, a better friend? Um, that's what my dad was all about. I was 11 years old. We were playing at the, the, the Navy golf course. At the time, my dad was a one handicapper, um, pretty good player, and we were playing from the back tees. Uh, I birdied 16 to go even par for the day, and my dad was even par. We both uh, both par 17, and 18 is a par five, and we both got there on on in regulation. He missed about a 20 footer, and I had about a 15 footer uphill right to left and knocked it in. And well, I, I do kind of remember this. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, that's it, it. Came out of me. That was my first fist bump. I went crazy. You know, I started uppercutting the air. I didn't. I mean, it was the greatest thing I had ever done in my life. Um, just you know, beat my dad. And uh, I just remember going to uh, the 19th hole and celebrating with him and, and, and rubbing it in. 